Good afternoon guys. It's uh what is it? Coming up to about ten to two in the afternoon. Just got back from our first of at least two car boot sales we're doing. Uh Mum made a lot more money than I did. <laughs> but it was only a small car boot, so between us we made more money than I thought we would. It was only like two rows. So I can say it's, um, on Sundays the same place does one, they call it the big one, and there usually is, uh, I don't know, six, seven rows. Um, took my laptop but couldn't sell it because I forgot the bloody adapter here. It's sitting there in that box that I didn't take the Mega Blocks today because, well, my theory is. There was no kids there, so I probably wouldn't have sold it anyway. And the same with those. So I left both of those here. I'll take them tomorrow. And um, I'm going to have a dig around and see if I can find anything else. Um, I don't actually think I've got a lot else. I might have a look in the outside cupboard and see if I can dig anything out from in there. In the depth of the outside cupboard. And there might be something in the shed. But, uh, I'm not too fussed. I think I sold my rigger boots that I had, and those cordless drills. So I made not even 15 quid, a bit over, a bit over 10 quid, I think. I think I sold a couple of model cars for like 50p or something daft, just to get them out of my way. Uh, so I'm just waiting for my uh, rustless barbecue rib burger thingies in the microwave, so I thought I'd just turn the camera on and have a quick chit chat. Uh, someone's left me a message again. I bet that's nothing important. Let's have a listen. No. So actually, something for mum and mum don't even live here anymore, so... Sodom. <laughs> well, at least the weather was nice. It was a bit cloudy this morning, but it wasn't too cold. And the sun's got out lovely now, and it's supposed to be good tomorrow. Uh, I think, depending on how well we do tomorrow, which will be Saturday, the... Well, I've lost track on the date now. It's on the computer. Let's have a quick peek. Uh, we Saturday the 16th. Um, so, depending how well we do tomorrow, will depend whether we'll do another one at Stalham Sunday or not. <laughs> um, because Sunday, there's that classic car and bike show I'd like to go to. But uh, we've got to do another car boot, and we've got to do another car boot. There's not a lot I can do about it. <laughs> uh, is, it, is it bank holiday this weekend, or is it next weekend? I can't remember. Oh. My doodars are done. This coke in the glass has been there since... I went to bed, so it's going to be flat as anything. I can't stand flat coke. Oh, it smells gorgeous. I've got, ah, one thing I've got. I could have gone over to Mum's today, but I thought, one, we'll conserve petrol. Because, uh, if not, it's just a bloody waste of petrol. And, uh, tomorrow, as we're going to the Alstrom one, which is going to be a lot closer to Mum's anyway. I figured I'll go over to Mum's tomorrow after that car boot. Anyway, job for today, when Nemo gets out from under my feet, is to rip that mattress off that bed and then go down and drag the other one upstairs. Because I cannot spend another night on that poxy mattress. That is, I can't even describe it. Horrible. It's uncomfortable. I think, ow, that's hot. <laughs> I think
think uh, sleeping on, sleeping on the gravel outside would be a lot more comfortable than sleeping on that thing. Yeah, I'm going to let them cool for a bit. They're hot. Ow. Oh, I've got about a third of a bottle of Coke. Ooh, tripping over that. I've got to take that down as well. So this is why the cat sometimes annoys me. I'll be walking around like this and he'll just be dawdling in front of me. Not wanting to move. That one, that's the Coke I took with me, so I'm going to put that in the fridge to chill and take that one with me tomorrow. Uh, I haven't decided what I'll have for dinner yet. I might go get a takeout or something. Much in the mood for a USA fried chicken. From USA fried chicken in town. It's called the USA fried chicken, but it's actually ran by, I think, they are Turkish. I think. Yeah, because I think it's the Greeks that run the kebab shop. Oh, that kebab shop is lovely. Lovely bunch of people, lovely bunch, lovely batch of foods they come out with. Ooh, could get a kebab, actually. A bit of kebab. I come back in here for something. What was it? Glass, that was it. Yeah, so I couldn't put the laptop out without the adapter. Drill sold. Which is good. Um... All the stuff we had for Mum's neighbour, most of that sold apart from two items. Uh, you always get someone that wants something for nothing, near enough. And I personally think the Chalwin paraffin lamp was worth the five we were asking. Um, because it is a branded name when it is Chalwin, and it is bloody old. It was an old, it was an old um, what they call a hurricane lamp or a tilly lamp. Uh, I used to have one, actually, myself. I sold it. I wasn't really into that sort of lamp. Um, no. The only sort of paraffin lamps I'm into are um, the ones I've got in here. Which, oddly enough, that red one on the right there, I actually got from the same car boot we went to today. And I paid... 30 quid for this one on the end, but there was a pair of them. So I just bought the pair of them and give one up to stepdad because I saw similar thing to what the um, railways used as well. You know, doing work on the railway lines and whatnot. And he's very big interest trains, so. Uh, ooh, had a bit of a start there, didn't I? Yeah, he's very big interest trains and whatnot, so I thought it'd be nice for him. Something he could perhaps clean up and paint up. Someone's already done that one. I paid a tenner for that one, which is an absolute bargain, considering they go for more than that on eBay. And they do work. That one's got a wick in it. I just need some paraffin for us. Ran out. It got tipped over and it all leaked out, unfortunately. Oh yeah, that was it. My brother was playing with it and tipped it over accidentally, not realising there was paraffin in it. <laughs> he did when it leaked all over his trousers. <laughs> uh, yeah, the one we're going to tomorrow is actually bigger. It's quite a large one. Well, quite a large one for this area, anyway. Arming Hall in Norwich is probably the biggest in the area. Well, it's the biggest I've ever been to in the area. <sighs> My computer's uploaded now, so I'm going to sit you there. I did see a video camera, or a camcorder on the car boot today, but it recorded to DVD disc, like these mini DVD discs, that's what it looked like anyway. Um, it did have a memory card on it, but I'd prefer one that I could plug a cable into the computer and download the um, footage that way, like I do with uh, this camera. Um, so well, I was tempted, but I think, because I know the guys that run that store as well, and I know they can be pretty expensive, so... No, I don't think that's quite what I was looking for in a camera. And, uh, never mind, might find one tomorrow, mightn't we? I'm sort of hard thinking now, perhaps I should have gone for it, because I do need something. 
Um, perhaps I should have asked if it did, uh, if you could choose to record to the SD card that was in it or the um, DVD disc. Because if I could choose, then I'd have just recorded to the SD disc. Because there wouldn't have been no point in me uh, recording to a DVD disc. Not really. Oh, his bloody source packets are a pain in the ass. Do I open that map? Uh, maybe. So, I've got another early start in the morning. I was up at quarter eight this morning, which is bloody early for me. It's normally closer to sort of nine thirty, ten o'clock I get out. And that's because I don't go to bed until, I don't know, sometimes two, sometimes three in the morning. Depends what I'm doing and if I'm watching anything or if I'm doing anything here on here on the PC, which uh, isn't actually very often. <laughs> Don't really do a lot on the PC these days. And years ago, I was very big on playing Fercadia online and whatnot, but uh, not these days. I even had a spurt where I was sort of addicted to Second Life, and I don't even go on that anymore. Mostly because I think most of the friends I role-played with on those games just left as well, so... I just didn't see the point of staying on them myself, so... If you don't see, see any point in doing something, then there's, you might as well quit. Besides, in that Fercadia game, there was just too many bloody... I don't want to make it sound like I hate kids, but there were, um, because I don't, but there were a lot of youngsters on there, and it caused a lot of grief, and, you know, they might not, even though it's all supposed to be, you know, make-believe, and, you know, you role-play a character, you'd get people on there that take things too seriously, and you get a lot of drama starting, and ugh, it was just too much of a headache. I've played it for so many years that I just had enough eventually and just quit. Because <laughs> I just couldn't be doing with it. You know, it was a bleeding game and people were treating, like, treating it like it was bloody reality or something. Uh, in Second Life, I just couldn't get into Second Life, really. Well, I was, like I said, I was addicted for a while. But, uh... short-lived, I think. It lasted about a year before I got bored with it, maybe a bit longer. But I'm not really a big gamer. Right, shall we see if anyone's messaged me on Facebook? I'm still letting these cool, so once these are cooled, I'll turn the camera off and have some lunch. Hmm? Why is that disturbing? Meet the woman who married her son's 15-year-old friend. We well, can't see how she could have married someone underage anyway, especially in this country, because it's not legal. But I... Uh, his friend would have had to have been at least 16, and unless it's changed, I'm pretty certain at 16 you have to have your uh, parents' permission here in the UK. I can't remember. That's what it used to be anyway, so... You know, apart from the age gap, then... I don't really see what the problem is. As long as they're of legal age, who the hell cares? It seems weird, you know. I mean, I don't know how old she is. Oh, she was 36 when she fell for a teenage son's friend and ended up marrying him and having two children together. This morning, oh, it was on this morning. If they're both bleeding legal, who cares? I've got better things to worry about than what two people do with their love life. If 
Well, I don't care if you're gay, straight, bisexual, transgender. As long as you're happy, you're happy. That's all that I care about. I'm bisexual myself. Just so you know, I'm just throwing it out there randomly. <laughs> Uh, that's not if okay. Let's get YouTube up, I think. Uh, uh, uh. I did a review of Norfolk Fire and Rescue Service. That must have been a while ago, because I don't remember. <laughs> Mind you, I can barely remember what I did yesterday, half the time. And uh, what we got... Not a lot notification-wise from, from the look of it. Look of it? Look of it. Good God, and I slept well last night as well. I think it's about quarter past eight. Mum got here this morning, and I got up at quarter to eight. I sort of woke up, looked at the clock, and thought, oh shit, Mum will be here soon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I really need to get some Lego videos done, but I haven't had a chance. Oops. I've been trying to sort of save my pennies in case there was anything I wanted at the car boot, but today they weren't really. Nothing of real interest for me anyway. Apart from that camera, which I am actually having second thoughts on, but never mind. No doubt that seller will probably, probably be back there Sunday if we go, so if we go Sunday I can probably have another look. But I'm not too worried, because at the end of the day, something else will come up. I could look on eBay or something. I'll have a look on eBay later, actually. Oh, that reminds me, I've got to pop to the bank. Because I uh, won that KVM switch. And cables, the four-port one, I think I said in the previous... In last night's vlog, actually. For 99 pence. And I won the two cables for the two-port KVM switch I've already got here for um, 99p as well. So, bargain! I don't know, postage on the cables alone that I bought seems a bit high. They're asking £5. I don't know, it seems a bit high to me. I suppose there is a bit of weight to them. And size. Uh, I can't remember what the postage was for the actual switching cables. I think it was a little bit less. But uh, I was a little bit short in the bank to pay for both, so I've got to go and put a little bit in. Which I'll do later, because I think I do have to go out again. But uh, anyway, I think my buns are cooled off now, so I'm going to turn the camera off. And, uh... Oh, we've only gone in for 18 minutes, so... I'll add an extra 10 minutes on this video when I get the mattress up here, so... I'll eat this, get the bed sorted out, and I'll turn the camera back on, so I'll talk to you again in a little while. Hi guys. <coughs> back again, briefly. Just thought I'd show you the underside of the mattress, just to give you a bit of a better idea why I've gone and got another one. Now, uh, where is it? There's... <laughs> if I can get my hand out of the shirt, out of the light. See? That one there. There's one there, there's a hole there and there, a hole there with one poked through it. There's a hole there as well with another one about to poke through. <coughs> it's filthy, it's, it's... You can see... I don't think there's any poking through on this side. It wasn't cheap when it was new, it was a silent night. But, uh, you'll definitely see looking at the side that it's not supposed to be that shape. So yeah, I just thought I'd give you a quick look at the mattress and all the crap I've got underneath the bed. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to get rid of that yet. <coughs> uh, I'll find a way. Yeah. <clears throat> so I'm going to haul this out onto the landon. And then go and hike the other one upstairs. Put 
poor Mr. Nemo is wondering what's going on. <laughs> yeah, time for a new mattress. Bed frame's absolutely fine, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm curious. <laughs> there's a bit of mattress fluff there that has fallen out. <clears throat> right, out with the old and in with the new. Well, technically used, but new and new to me. <coughs> oh dear. I'm going to have to change that shelf. That is bowed quite a lot. I don't know how well that's coming up on camera. That top shelf does have quite a bow in the middle of it, and I've got the weight on either end. Hmm. <laughs> right, so I'm going to get this mattress out and the new one in, and I'll be back in the blink of an eye. Well, I'm back. I just had a very interesting experience out in the communal stairwell. I'd uh, tracked my old mattress out there, stood it up against the wall, so it's ready to go when I can get rid of it. Went to go down the first flight of stairs, and I got to the bottom of the first flight of stairs, and this uh, little bird flew at me. You know, I'm out of breath because I've just dragged my new one up. But I'll get to that in a minute. So, uh, I thought I couldn't leave the bird in there. I'm not really the sort that would go and grab a camera first. So, uh, I knew I wasn't going to catch it by hand. So I tried to take my shirt off and catch it that way, but uh, that was proven difficult as well. You know, throw the shirt over it so it didn't panic, etc. But it didn't quite work. And then I noticed my neighbour just across the way there had some um, sort of large-ish plastic pots on his little shelf by his door. So I borrowed one of those and managed to catch it in one of those and put my shirt over the top to... Uh, Stopped him from escaping, took him downstairs and sat the pot on the bin and took the shirt off and he flew off into the trees out back. And it was a, a little robin. A little robin had come in through the door downstairs and couldn't get out again, bless him. Anyway. There's my lovely mattress. Actually, I think this is thicker than my old one. I haven't even laid on it yet. I've literally just thrown it on the bed and picked the camera up. So... Oh, that is so much comf more comfy. Oh, I'm actually bouncing on the springs and not sinking. <laughs> uh. Oh, even Nemo likes it. Right, so I've just got to throw a bed sheet on, which I can do later. I've got a clean one up here somewhere. It's there. I don't know if there's some one up here somewhere. It's a double, but I can fold most of it underneath. It'll do for now. Another one could go in the wash. Whew. This mattress wasn't heavy, but it's just big and awkward to drag up two flights of stairs on your own. <laughs> yeah, this mattress is actually a lot higher. But that probably could be because the springs aren't fucked in this one. Oh, I've still got a squeaky bed for out now. I'm going to have to tighten a few nuts up. So, I wasn't expecting to see a robin flying around in the communal stairwell. But, uh, you know, I couldn't leave the poor thing flying around in there. He was calm in the pot. He was running around a little bit, you know. Probably wondering where the hell he was and what the hell I was going to do with him. But, uh, I just pulled the shirt off, and he ran around in the pot a bit more, and then flew off into the trees. So he'll be happy for the rest of the day now. I've got lots of change rattling in my pocket. I'll be ready for tomorrow. And so when you go to these car boot styles, it's good to have a variety of notes and change. Because uh, a lot of the time you can go to a store and they may not have any change, so it's a good idea to have some yourself. 
And if you're a seller, it's obviously a good idea to go with some yourself as well. Not all sellers do, but uh, usually the frequent ones that go every week will have pockets of change and whatnot. But uh, I don't think me and Mum will make a frequent habit of doing this. It's uh, just pretty much to get a bit of extra cash and rid of some junk. Well, it's not... Well, I say junk, you know, it's not junk junk, but it's stuff we don't need. And it's easier and probably cheaper, or just as cheap, than it is to put it on eBay. Which reminds me, I've still got a couple of... Oh, pardon me. A couple of parcels to do. <sighs> still got to go at the bank. Now, I can't even leave it till tomorrow morning, because I'm not going to be here tomorrow morning. And I don't really want to wait till Monday to pay for it. Uh... I don't even remember how much I owe. Hang on, what's the post? It's about six pounds, isn't it? I think I've got two pounds in my bank. Mm, I'll stick a fiver in, that should cover it. <coughs> it should be covered. Um. <laughs> well, Nemo's made himself at home on the mattress. <laughs> Ooh, we've got winter coming out the other end now. Ooh. Ooh, that one's stung. Ooh. <laughs> No, I do not do things like that while I'm at a car boot sale. It's only around the house. I'm more polite than that when I'm out in public. Oh, I'd have to be. Jesus, I'd scare the customers off, that would. Oh. <laughs> Is this more comfortable to lie on? Do you approve? Yeah, the colour's not the best for a single man. Ooh, but, it <laughs> but it does the job. And, uh, well, you saw the state of me other one earlier in the video, so... There's a big old blue bottle fly thing buzzing around in here. Why are flies so annoying? Well, actually, it's a miracle he found his way out of the window. It's not often flies actually manage to find their way out of the window. Well, I should be able to find a little cubby hole to squeeze those into in the car. If not, I'll just have to sit on my lap again like my toolbox of stuff did. But, uh, I think between us we did all right. I think I only sold a couple of the cars, the boots and the drills and that was it. <laughs> Still got everything else. Like I said, I couldn't put the laptop out because the laptop adapter is here. I thought I'd put it in top of the toolbox with all the other adapters and things, but uh, nope. <coughs> no, I didn't. Never mind. Don't know if it would have sold today anyway because there weren't really the right audience there. Well, there was uh, enough people there, obviously, but uh, I don't know if, judging by the other store, I don't think there was enough of the right people. And again, going by that store lot, because I know what his prices are like. Each to their own, if they think it's worth it and that's what they want for it, then that's what they want for it. But, uh, maybe he'll be at the one at Alsham tomorrow, I don't know. But if he is, I'll see if I might inquire about the camera again. But ideally, I'd want one where I can plug in a USB cable like that or something and plug it into the camera and download the footage that way. Uh, but it does have an SD card in it, so I suppose I could use that and use the card reader. If I had to. So, yeah, I am actually really thinking I should have perhaps gone for it, but... I also want to save a bit of cash for tomorrow as well, because you never know what you're going to find there, do you? I could have gone and bought that one and then perhaps found something better at the next one. You never know. Or I could lose out, so I've... You know, and find nothing, so I've taken a gamble. If I don't find anything, it's not the end of the world, is it? There's still eBay and whatnot. I 
know, one of the guys that were in the, on the stall opposite us did say, you know, you could eBay a lot of the stuff, but you then get people that would message you and say, oh, it doesn't work. Or the, well, he had a laptop there, so they could say the screen don't work, or the screen's broken or something. And then send you an identical one that's broken, and they keep the good one, and you end up refunding them and end up with a piece of shit you can't do nothing with. So he reckon. Obviously you can't prove that, but... You know, well, I wouldn't put it past people to pull stunts like that. Because, uh... There just isn't any way to prove either way, is there? Which is why if I was selling a laptop or something it, on eBay, I would have photos showing it working. With a good screen, etc. So they can't argue... And eBay can't argue, so it would have been definitely sold as a working item. No, I don't sell anything that don't work. I'm not that sort of person. If it doesn't work, it goes in the bin. Oops, hit the wrong thing. Yeah, it was the Bill's T-Max video I was watching. The brake adjustment he did on his little John Deere tractor. Very much going on online today. Oh, I've got a notification. Yay! Someone liked my last long video. No one else likes my videos, you meanies. Actually, there probably is other likes on them. I just don't pay much attention once the video's up. <laughs> It just sort of goes up, stays up, and then forgotten about. Unless someone comments or hits a like button like that, but... The hit, I only ever get like notifications from... I don't know how to pronounce his name, is it Siam Iam? Siam Iam? I don't know, sorry if I pronounced that wrong. <laughs> yeah. One of my... Pro probably one of my longest subscribers. Oh right, what have we got planned for the rest of the day? Rest of the day, rather. It all sort of came out in one long word. Uh, not a lot. <laughs> Apart from run to the bank, I think that's about it. Don't think I need anything in town. Uh... I don't know what I'll want for tea later. I might just go and get a takeaway, like I said, for tonight. Oh. Uh. I actually smell my kitchen bin from here because of that cat food in there. <laughs> I'm about to take that down, I think. That is nasty. Doesn't help because we've had the warmer weather and things start to go off a lot faster in warmer weather, so it's going to have to go down. So I'll find anything to fill it up a bit more. Oh. No, I don't want to fill it up a bit anymore. I've just realised I've got really cheap Sainsbury's Basics um, refuse sacks in there, and they're crap. I will never forget the accident I had out there, actually. Had a bin bag I'd just filled up with the um, cat litter from the cat's litter tray, just emptied it, didn't think to put the cat litter into a carrier bag or anything else, so I just tipped it straight in the bin, pulled the bin out, did it up, got to the top of the first flight of stairs, caught the bag on the wooden handrail bit on the corner and it ripped it and it just went straight down between all the stairs, right down to the ground floor, all this horrible, wet, soggy cat litter, cat other rubbish from the bloody bag. Oh, that was a nightmare to clear up. It really was. <laughs> but uh, I only needed some cheap bags to wrap those uh, bike frames and that in, so I just grabbed those. That and the fact I didn't really have the cash to splash them something decent. If you uh, let's look at the bags. I'll try not to get too much of the bin in, because it's, you know, it's a bin, you know, all look at that. Look how thin it is, look. Thin crap, but I suppose that's what you get for 60p. So that could go down. I think the boxes could go out of the way. Fucking hell, that 
really does stink. Oh, that's nasty. Oh, well, I heard me my meow, but I don't know where it's gone. <laughs> Posing on the bed is what he's doing. Look at that. Boo! <laughs> Yep, sounds like the schools are kicked out. Right. Um so, yeah. I've got to uh bung a sheet on that. A sheet that is, not a shit. A sheet, bed sheet. Bad joke, I know, bad joke. I just watch my battery because it's hanging on red bar for ages. So I might end up having to put new batteries in before I uh, drop this footage to the PC. Well, so far all I've got to take with me tomorrow is those. Oh, that's what I might do in a video this evening. I might um, take the back off this monitor and see if I can see any loose connections or anything. Because that's what it seems like to me. Possibly a loose connection. But uh, anything further than that I probably won't be able to fix because I'm not familiar with fixing things like that. And I likely don't have the tools to do it either, apart from unscrewing the cover and putting it back together. So, I'll have a look and see if I can find a loose connection. There might be a loose cable in there or something. Ugh. Well, I figured out how to take it apart because I can't see any screws. Hmm. <laughs> well, I went together, so it's got to come apart. That's my theory. There's some yeah, well, I'll have a look at that later. If not, that can just go back where it come from, the rubbish. Well, I'll say that, but it didn't actually quite make it to the rubbish. But that's where it would have gone if I hadn't picked it up. Typical though, that's the one I'd have loved to have worked so I could have set it up on the second computer bench. The table, I should say, but uh, oh my. never mind. Right, so I suppose I should end the video instead of keep rambling on, otherwise, I'll never get to the bloody bank, will I? At least I can get my bike out of the shed now because I can get to it. Oh, that reminds me. I've been meaning to take the uh, rear LED down for ages. Because um, I had an accident with it when I leaned it up against the trolley bay at Sainsbury's. It actually broke this clip. Leaned up, the light got um, pressed against the metal bar on the um, trolley bay and just pinged the light off and snapped this actual clip. So I nicked one off one of my other many spare LEDs to put back on this one. And I keep forgetting to take the damn thing down and put on the bike. Not that I really need lights this time of year, you know, with all these nice bright days and lighter nights. But uh, you never know when the weather might turn, or you get caught in some rain or something, because uh, I might just be a cyclist, but even in rain I do like to have a light on. Why are you under the bed meowing, you numb nut? Yeah, I'm going to take that bin bag down when I go as well. I don't think I'll need a coat. It's still too warm for that. Uh, I suppose i better check my bank account before I go in. I could do it online, but it's just as quick to go at the ATM outside the bank and put your card in and do it that way, as I'm going to be going to the bank anyway. So, uh, well, the battery is now about to die, so if you like the video, thumbs up. If you hate it, thumbs down, and uh, thank you for watching, and until the next video, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.